this question. It say creamer or squirty. And then it got the emoji like this. <laughs> Don't try to hide your face after you just sit this question. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Billionaire Bree, reporting to you live. You heard me. So tonight, tonight, tonight is getting real hot and spicy in this motherfucker, okay? <laughs> I'm doing my first Q&A and I kind of wanted it to be, you know, um, adult friendly. So if you are under the age of 18, you need to go ahead and get off this video. Um, I want to like do something different for my supporters. I kind of want to be a little spicy, a little grown or whatever tonight. So we got our wine. We are sipping on our sweet red reserve. And I already poured up a little bit in my glass. So go get you a glass. Um, let me give you a few seconds while you get your glass. I'm going to sip on mine. Real good. 10 out of 10. Okay, y'all. So, we doing a um, Q&A spicy edition. I asked um, my people on my Instagram, my Facebook, and on YouTube to send me some questions anonymously. I got about 35 questions, so we're going to go through them. Um, I am excited. Uh, so, let's get straight to it. So, the first question says, one friend you're thankful for. I'll say my day one, her name is Kiki. I met her in college. Um, we've been locked in literally from the day I moved here um, to go to college. Since day one, I met her, we've been locked in. That is somebody that I'm really grateful for. Um, I have another really good friend. Her name is Talaya. Um, I met her in college as well, and that's my dog. So those are the two people that I'm thankful for. Okay. This next question says, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just sitting here chilling, recording YouTube. And then after this, I'm going to edit it so I can get it up by tonight. The goal is to get it up to, by tonight, if not tomorrow for sure. Next question says, you lit to be honest. It's not a question, it's a statement. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I try to be lit, you know what I'm saying? I try to be vibrant and exciting and just like good energy. I feel like if I give off good energy, good energy will come to me and that's all. It's just a vibe. The next statement says, you're so fun to be around. Oh, I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, I love, you know, I love to, uh, I'm honestly a homebody, not going to hold you. I like to be at home. But if I do get out, like, we're going to vibe, we're going to have a good time. I'm more of, like, a traveling type of girl. So I prefer to just stay home, run up a check, um, and then go, like, on a vacation and turn up. Next question says, how many siblings do you have? Um, so on my dad's side, there's three of us. I'm the oldest, and then I have a sister who is three years younger than me. And then I have a brother who is also three years younger than me. And my sister and my brother are six months apart. And then on my dad's side, I have an older brother who is six years older than me. Wait, did I just say? Okay, no, that's right. Yep. Yeah. And then I have a um, younger, the same younger brother. I was just saying he is three years younger than me. So it's three on my mom's side and three on my dad's side. All right, next one says, what's the youngest or oldest you'll talk to? Um, so the youngest, so my younger brother is 27, so that's probably the youngest I would go is 27. Um, now, <laughs> I have talked to somebody younger than that before, and he was actually pretty cool. Um, and then the oldest that I would talk to, I don't know because it's not even about age anymore nowadays. It's honestly about like your maturity and what you have going for yourself. And you will be surprised. Like the old dudes, baby, they be just as immature and like not really about their word. Um, just like the young guys. So it really, I mean, I don't necessarily have like an age cap. Now, <laughs> 
Back in the day, I talked to this man, and he was, um, at the time, he was 50. And I was 27, 26, something like that. And so he was older than my dad, and it was so funny. But, like, we vibe real good together. He was cool. That's still my dog to this day. We don't talk like that, but we, you know, that's, that's still my dog. So, yes. Um, next question says, hold on, let me take a sip. Um, okay, so next question says, what's five green flags for you in a male? Um, so number one would be honesty. Like, just be honest with me. You know what I'm saying? Even if you feel like it's gonna hurt my feelings, I'd rather you be honest than lie to my face because I'm gonna be honest with, with you. Number two, um, I like a dude that's very secure in himself. Like, I want to know that you know that you that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because, baby, I'm that girl. But I want it to be like, we don't have to say it. It's like when we walk in a room, our presence, people feel it. Like, the way we move, um, people just can see, like, them, them, them is some, you know, that's a stand-up dude or that's a stand-up woman. Like, they cool type of thing. So, somebody who is um, secure in himself assertive oh i like a man that's assertive oh yes baby mm. anyways we're not gonna go too deep into that uh okay let me think what other green flags um attentive like i like a dude that pay attention to what i have going on you know what i'm saying like he asked me like baby you post today like how you feeling um i'm real i'm a real simple girl and like for the most part i do the same thing so like if you see I'm running out of apples and you know I eat apples and peanut butter after every workout, why you ain't gonna give me no apples? You know what I'm saying? Like, be attentive to your girl. That'll get you a long way. And then number five, I would say ambitious. Ambitious. Like, I like a dude that want to keep going, want to keep learning, want to keep growing. Like, he's not just okay with just the bare minimum. You know what I'm saying? Because I call myself billionaire free. And it's going to take me a lot of millions to get to that billion. So, I got to keep hustling. I got to keep grinding. And I need somebody on my team that's doing the same thing. Like, you can't be comfortable where you at. We got to always stay uncomfortable so we can keep growing and keep getting, you know, what we deserve in life. So, those will be the five green flags that I like in a man. The next statement says, I love your attitude. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you. Um, you know, I just be trying to, like I said, give out positivity. I feel like when you give it out, you receive it. So that's all. And even when I be down, like I normally will shut down and say to myself because my attitude can be really bad. So I'm like, let me just say to myself, uh, my auntie, she calls it sabbatical. So it's basically like where you just shut off the world, you just to yourself and you just need a couple days just to kind of like regroup. So when I'm like that, I say to myself, and then when I'm back to the regular, you know, the regular degular, I try to give like good energy, but I appreciate that comment. It says you're super cute to be honest. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, the next question says, who do you miss? Oh, I miss a couple people. I miss, I miss a lot of people actually. Um, my people that have passed away, my friend Ariel, um, my grandma, like I done lost some real close people, my godmom, TT. So I miss a lot of people. Um, my dad, he, he didn't pass away. He's just not here with me right now. And I'm not used, not used to that because I grew up with my dad all my life. Like when I say all my life, all my fucking life, I had my dad. So um that's a little different and that is still something that i'm still like coping with and going through because some days i'll be good and then some days i'll be fucked up about it like i'll be fucked up about my dad so i do miss him um how many rounds can you go that's what i'm talking about now we at the spicy mix yeah hold on let me cheers y'all take a sip when i take a sip you take a sip just like that. When I move, you move. Hey, just like that. Now. <laughs> mm -mm. This is really good. Really good. Okay, so how many rounds can you go? Ooh, so, okay, so if I've been sipping on wine, 
when I'm feeling real sexy and like warm and you know what I'm saying, I want to be booed up, then man, we can go all night. Now, if it's just like I've been working all day and I'm tired and you know what I'm saying, I just want to be put to sleep, just give it to me one good time and I'll be straight. So I guess it just depends on like the day, the time, the mood, what I got going on. But we can, especially like, yeah. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it at that. <laughs> uh, next question says, do you believe in 50-50 in a relationship? Um, I'm not against it. I'm not against it at all. I feel like it depends on what works best for you and your household. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm always going to have my own. So if my man is like, babe, can you pay the utilities and I pay the rent? Cool. Or if he's like, babe, can you pay the car note? And I pay all the, you know, the house bills. Okay, cool. But even if my man decides to like pay more than me, I'm always gonna make sure he's straight. So like his haircuts, he, I must, you know, I always send money for his haircuts. Um, if I see something in the store and I know he needed or wanted, I'm gonna get it for him. I'm gonna be like, babe, I need you to take off, you know, this week because we're going out of town. Everything is paid for. Just come, you know, type of shit. So if he's paying like all the money and the bills, I'm gonna make sure that like us enjoying life, I'm paying for. And then if he ever is like, hey, like. I'm overworked. Like I need just some time off. Take off. Take, take time off, and I got it. Like I'm gonna pick up wherever you slack. So I don't. I mean, it is what it is. Like if he wanna go 50-50, we split everything down the middle. That's totally fine with me. If he wanna be like, pay, he pay the big bills, I pay the little bills. We can do that. Um, now I'm not paying all the motherfucking bills. You got me fucked up. You're not my man. You're not my man at all. If I'm not paying all the bills, now I'll pay all of my bills. And then he could pay all his bills if he want to do it like that. That's fine. And then I feel like if you have kids involved, then that's like a totally different, like, you know, situation. I feel like um, if you have kids involved, then I feel like y'all should come up with, like, some type of budget where y'all both take something out of y'all check to go into an account for the kids. Um, so that, that way they always straight. Even if shit go left with you and him or, you know what I'm saying, the kids is still straight. So I guess it just depends, um, but yeah, I believe in 50-50. It really doesn't matter to me. Um, growing up, I grew up with both of my parents. So my dad was a hustler and he worked a nine to five and my mom uh, worked a nine to five. Really good jobs all the time. Um, and from the for the most part, um, my dad would pay the big bills and then my mom would pay like the small bills. And then my dad would like give her money like to go shopping, like school clothes shopping for us. Um, they alternated each, because I got my hair done every two weeks growing up. So they alternated every two weeks who would pay for my hair appointment. Um, when I wanted to go to the mall and stuff, I always went to my dad because he always had extra, extra money. So I'd be like, hey, can I have some extra money? But yeah, I don't, that type of stuff, like people be like, I, like some women be like, my man gotta pay all the bills. He gotta pay all the bills. Okay, then what's gonna happen if, like eventually you're gonna get burnt out. You know what I'm saying? Cause he paying all the bills, that means he's working to pay all these fucking bills. So he's gonna get burnt out. Then when he come home to you, he too he too tired to be loved up on and you know, cuddled up on and caressing and rubbing on you and doing what you need him to do for, for you because he paying all the fucking bills. So that's why it's like, if you take a little load off of him, then y'all will still be able to put energy into each other. I feel like I just rambled. I hope y'all got what I was trying to say. <laughs> Okay, next question. If you, I'm sorry, if me and you had to stay in a hotel room together and the only way we could leave, leave is if we had a SEX tape, is you doing it? Um, okay, so I don't know who you are. <laughs> like, who are you? <laughs> who am I stuck in this fucking hotel room with is the question. So, like... If I'm in a hotel room with my man and like, say we playing um, escape rooms and it was like, uh, y'all stuck in this room and y'all can't get out unless y'all make a, a SCX tape. Then baby, hell yeah, we making a tape, a commercial, a film, like whatever you wanna do, we can do that. But I don't know who you are, so I can't really say like, yes or no. So yeah, anyways. Um, next one says, I miss you. Haven't seen you in a while. I miss you too. I'm not sure who you are. All these questions, I don't know if y'all know, but all these questions that were sent to me is anonymous. It's an app. So everything's anonymous. I can't see who this is. So I don't know who you are, but I miss you too. Um, next question says, can I ask you out? Yeah, where we going? Where are you taking me to? Huh? Because I want to have a good fucking time. I like to do shit where I can talk shit because I like to talk my shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, can we go play pool? 
Can we go bowling? Can we um go laser tagging? Can we go to the gun range? Can we go skating? Can we go uh, take a flight somewhere? You know what I'm saying? Like, where are you taking me to? But you can ask me out. And then, you know, depending on who you are, <laughs> I might say yes. I might say no. But, you know, shoot your shot. You never know if you're going to make it unless you shoot it. Okay, next one says, do you like anyone right now? Y'all in my business. Don't do that. Hold on. Before I answer that, let me pour, let me pour a little bit more wine. Cheers. This wine is so good. Oh, I highly suggest y'all going to get it. H-E-B. Okay. Do you like anyone right now? So, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know because it's like you start liking somebody and then shit go left. And then I'm an emotional person, y'all. I am so emotional. And like when I invest into somebody, liking somebody, like I be locked in. Like we, like we are going hard for each other type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I be scared to like people because... They don't be genuine. People don't be genuine nowadays. So, no, I don't like anyone right now, but I do have my eyes on, you know, a cutie or two. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Who sent this question? It's a creamer or squirty. And then it got the emoji like this. <laughs> Don't try to hide your face after you just sit this question. Uh, I'm a creamer. I like the cream on it. I've never squirted before, so you know what I'm saying? I might have to do an updated video and uh, let y'all know if I ever do experience that. But as of now, I'm a creamer. Alrighty, next one says, how many bodies do you have? Ooh, spicy. I gotta take a sip on that one. Okay, so how many bodies do you have is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy to be in my business like that. You ain't even asked me my motherfucking favorite color. You ain't asked me what I like to do. You ain't asked me what made, what made me sad. Like, you just gonna ask me how many bodies I have? Do that really matter? It's still tight. No, I'm joking. Okay, um, so I know how many, like, I know the exact number. In fact, I have a list in my phone that I've been keeping since I lost my virginity. And so it has everybody's name and then it has like next to them how many times that I've been intimate with them. So the list is not long. <laughs> the list is not long at all. And we're going to leave it at that. Okay, next question says, what does your ideal marriage look like? Um, So my ideal marriage would be, I just want like a dope ass Friendship, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want it to be like super fun, um, super spontaneous, just like growing. Like, I'm really in the era of me growing and learning myself, learning new things. Like, I've been just trying different things Pilates, bike riding, um, different foods. Like, um, I'm getting back into traveling, making money different ways, investing into different things. So, I really want my marriage to just be just fun and just dope like I don't want it to feel like we locked like locked up you know what I'm saying like we locked in for shit show but we not locked up baby if you want to go and have a boys night go like please go and live your life you know what I'm saying like another thing that I've uh, noticed about myself I'm not sure about everybody else and if, it, if you do this too comment below so I know I'm not alone but one thing I do is when I get into a relationship sometimes I kind of forget about myself and I be pouring so much into them, like making sure they straight, like let's get this going, let's get that going for them. But I don't get that back from that person. You know what I'm saying? So I want to make sure that the relationship or like the marriage that I end up in, we both pour into each other. Where it's like we both growing and loving and nurturing and supporting each other. Um, oh, excuse me. So yeah, that would be my ideal marriage. Um, you know, I still pray one day I get married. My next statement says, you a homie. I guess. <laughs> I guess I'm a homie. Yeah, we could be homies. That's cool. Okay, this one says, shout me out. 
You are shouted out. No, I'm just joking. I don't know who you are. Like, do y'all not know it says anonymous? Like, I don't know who you are. So, I can't shout you out. But if you want to see me another one and attach your name, then I'll shout you out. Okay, next one says, you're so cute. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. <laughs> this, was, this question says, who's your favorite aunt? You're my favorite auntie. <laughs> now, I have two favorite aunts. Um, my auntie Cece, who raised me. She had, well, she helped, helped raise me, I should say. Um, like, she was my babysitter all my life. Any and everything I want, I got. Even still to this day, when I go back home to Portland, I can say I want this, this, and this. And when I get there, it's going to be there. Be ready for me. So that's my girl. We locked in. Ain't no switching up. And then my other favorite aunt is my auntie uh, Sonia. And me and her, like, we built our relationship later on in my life. But the relationship we have is so genuine and it's so strong. And I feel like I can go to her for anything and she don't judge me. Like, I be telling her the raw, uncut breed. Like, she know what I be thinking type shit. That is my girl. I love her so much. Um, so, yes, you my favorite auntie. Auntie. Because I know you said that. <laughs> uh, Okay, next one says, where do you see yourself in five years? So five years from now, I, right now I'm 29. So we just gonna say, I'm, I'm, I'm turning 30 this year. So we just say I'm already 30. So five years from now, we'll put me at 35. At 35, I need to have, I need to have multiple properties. Um, I already have multiple businesses, but if I can add seven more to it, I would, ooh, I'll be so happy. Um, I definitely want to be a full-time entrepreneur, full-time content creator. Let me, let me uh, rephrase that. I will be in five, in five years, I will be a full-time, high-paid, well-respected, well-loved, well-known content creator making six to seven figures a month. Yes. Um, yeah, and then in five years, um, I'm not really like, oh, I gotta have kids by 35, but I would like to have kids before 35. I, I tell myself if I'm not, if I don't have kids by 35, then I'm just not gonna have them. I'm just gonna be the rich auntie, which is totally fine with me. Um, but if not, then I, by 35, I wanna be settling down, you know, having kids. Um, yeah, that's about it. This one says, just wanted to remind you how awesome you are. Oh, don't make me blush. <laughs> Thank you. You are awesome too and beautiful and blessed. Okay, this one says, what are your plans this weekend? So this weekend, I didn't really do much. Um, I worked and worked and worked. <laughs> uh, it was, you know, it's my time of the month. I don't know, that's probably TMI. You probably didn't want to hear all that. But when I be like that, my attitude be bad, honestly. I don't be feeling good. I don't be feeling like I look good. So I really like to say to myself, um, so this weekend I didn't really do much. I just cleaned the house, um, worked, did YouTube. I took a um, content creator class. So I've been like studying that. So that was about it. And then if you're talking about this upcoming weekend, I don't have nothing planned, but just working. Like I said, I'm a homebody, y'all. I literally stay in the house, and I just be trying to grow, learn different things, try different things. Um, I'm not really an outside girl. Like, I don't necessarily go outside all the time. And um, I don't know. A part of me be like, dang, like, you missing out. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to do this when you're in your 30s, your 40s. But then the other part of me is like, I feel like this is the time where I need to be locking in on growing and becoming a better version of myself because then when I am in my 30s, my 40s, I can just relax. And instead of me going outside to the club, I could be on a fucking island. I could be on a yacht. I could be on a private jet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could be riding the elephant, riding horses. I could be just doing shit that I've never done and I've never seen the people before me do. So, yeah. I'm always just going extra. Okay, next question. Do you like anyone at the moment? <laughs> no, I mean, yes, I don't fucking know. I honestly, I just be going with the flow of life because like I said, one moment people be for you, then the next moment they don't be fucking with you. So I literally just go with the flow. Like if you fuck with me, I fuck with you. If you don't, cool. Um, like anyone at the moment, like I have a crush, kind of. 
I don't know because like this dude, he's so fine. But I don't feel like I need to be doing that right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I need to be focused on me right now. I'm in the um, 30 day challenge that started April uh, 1st and today is April, is it the 8th? No, the 7th, April 7th today. So um, my challenge is like literally just sticking to me. Like honed in on just me and focus on me. Um, if the right one come, cool. Like I'm not opposed to it, but I'm also not looking for it. And I think that's that was my issue. Like I was like looking for it. You know what I'm saying? And I need to just chill. I'm still manifesting. I still be saying stuff like I wish I was booed up or I can't wait to be booed up. You know what I'm saying? Like I still be manifesting because of course everybody wants love. I love love. I fucking love love. And I know my love is coming, but I'm not rushing it. If that makes sense. So do I like anyone at the moment? Yes and no. Um, it depends on the day of the week, if I like him or not. No. <laughs> yeah, I just be joking. Anyways, um, this one said, um, wait, where is it? Okay. Um, you lit, to be honest. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Nah, thank you. I appreciate that. Like I said, I just be trying to, eh, eh, eh. I just be trying to be like myself and like extra. I like to be extra. Because I feel like life be life in. And we don't got time. <laughs> we don't got time to be negative. We don't got time to be sad. We ain't got time to be stressing. If you can change it, change it. If you can't change it, distance yourself from it. And keep going. You feel me? Anyways. Uh, next one says, let's go out soon with two exclamation points. Okay, let's go. Like, let's go out. Where are we going? Okay, next. What? I need a sip. I need a sip. Take a sip, please. Take a sip, please. Now I need a refill. <laughs> I might as well. I might as well finish the bottle. So I want when people see Breathe a Billionaire or a Billionaire Breathe, they know who I am. Like they can associate my face with my name. Um, another thing I want to do is I want to not only build my platform, but I want to like build a solid community. Um, that's one thing that's on my vision board over there, like building a community of like-minded individuals. I feel like everybody who looks like me, we deserve more than what the world gives us, if that makes sense. And I feel like the only way we can get it is if we create our own avenue and content creator is where it's at. And I like that because it's like, it's no cap. You can make as much money as you want to make being a content creator through content, through brand deals, um, through collabs. Like you can make some really good money and you can make, when I say good money, I mean, you can make more than what these rappers, these doctors, these lawyers is making. Um, that's the thing. That's what I want to do. Like, I want to just become a well-known, well-respected content creator. And then once I become that, I want to turn around, reach my arm back, and pull the next person up. Like, I want to help my people. Um, I always said that, like, when I make it, I have to help my people behind me make it. So, y'all, keep supporting your girl. Help me get to where I'm trying to be. Help me so I can help you type of thing. But, yeah, um, I just want to... I just want to pour into people. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going the educational route or if I'm going the entertainment route or if I'm going to do both um, because I have a lot of knowledge that I want to share as far as like starting a business, um, becoming an entrepreneur. Um, and then like I'm still learning the whole content creator world. Um, but being an entrepreneur, baby, I got that. I can do that with my fucking eyes closed. I've started so many businesses and um, I live off of my businesses. Like I don't work. <laughs> a nine to five. I I live off my businesses. So, anywho, next. Um, what advice would you give to someone who wants to start their own content creation journey? 
advice that I would give to you is to just start. Just start. And I mean right now. Like, you're looking at this video, I need you to start tonight. Tonight, I need you to go ahead and figure out, well, I don't know if I'm going to post this tonight or tomorrow. But well, anyways, today, I need you to figure out your unique name, if it's going to be a nickname, your name, whatever. And then I need you to get your social media pages started, your TikTok, your Instagram, your Facebook. And then I need you to post your first video. I want you to do any type of video you want to do. Figure out what niche you want to go into. So do you want to do like lifestyle? Do you want to do um, graphic design, fitness, fashion, makeup? Figure out what you want to do. And I need you to do it tonight. You have to start. That's the thing. We just got to start. And then once you start, you start. You have to be consistent. And then once you be consistent, baby, it's going to become a habit. It takes 21 days to either break a habit or gain a habit. So as long as you do something consistently for 21 days, by that 22nd day, you're going to do it without even thinking about it. So if you really want to become a content creator and you really want to get this content creator bag, I need you to fucking start. Just start. Pick up your phone, turn your camera on, and just record. Whatever you're doing. If you're doing... Uh, wake up in the morning, brush your teeth, do your skin routine, record that. You make your breakfast. I don't know if you have a child or not, getting your kid ready for school or for whatever they gotta do. You go into the grocery store, just start. You doing working out, just record yourself, okay? Just record yourself and just start. That's all I can say is start. I'm, you know, I'm starting, I'm getting into the groove of things, so I can't really um, give you a lot of insight on content creator because I'm still becoming my own content creator, but I, you gotta start it. You gotta start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Okay, next question says, what type of content do you enjoy creating the most and why? Um, I really like creating... Okay, so I like fitness content because I feel like I'm able to like show um, my strength as far as like, and my dedication and my determination because a lot of people, they start working out and they don't stick with it. Um, I was one of the people I would start and I would stop or I would start and I would see results and then I would stop and I would go all the way back to eight to square one. So like I'm trying to get consistent. Well, I'm not trying to. I am. Ooh, bless Lord. Give, my, give me together, Lord. I am starting to be more consistent um, in content creating and with my fitness journey. So I really like doing fitness, um, but I want to start getting into more stuff like this where it's more like personal and like kind of in my business <laughs> so, uh, the type of content creation that i like to make or that i enjoy the most would be fitness i'm so sorry y'all that my my answers are so long and drawn out and then i don't even be i'll be in my own little lane anyways um how do you balance consistency in content creation with other aspects of your life um, so I incorporate content creation in the other aspects of my life. So whatever I'm going through, I record it. Um, so I record a video with me visiting my dad. I visit him every Monday, don't miss a beat, um, unless like I'm working. But for the most part, I don't miss a beat when it comes to visiting him. So I recorded that while I was doing that. Um, like I said, when I'm working out, I record, even if it's just a few videos, I'm just recording something so I can get into the habit of recording. Um, but I just incorporate the two into each other to make them one. Can I take a sip? I need a sip. Cheers. Okay. Next question says, how would you handle criticism or negative feedback from your audience? Um, I don't know, and I'm so not ready for that. If I be honest, I am not ready for that because I'm so emotional. But I feel like what, like what, okay. More money, more problems. Okay, that's a true statement. So I feel like the more I get well known, the more people start to support me, it's going to be people who don't support me. And I'm going to have to figure out a way to cope with it or ignore it or not allow it to affect me to keep going type of thing. So I'm not really sure how I would handle the negative criticism or the negative feedback from my audience. I feel like if it's a lot of negative negativity, then I'll be like, okay, Brie, like, 
you kind of need to do a little self-reflection. Like maybe you shouldn't have said that. Maybe you shouldn't have dropped that. Maybe you shouldn't have posted that. But if it's just like half half positive, half negative, baby, I'm coming to all the, po the, the positive posts. Thank you for supporting me. Appreciate you. Love your feedback type of thing. And the negative, they can kiss my... <laughs> No, I'm just joking, y'all. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess we'll see when, like my uh, cousin tell me, we'll see, we'll, we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get there. But I'm not going to let it stop me because at the end of the day, the people that are talking negative, at the end of the day, they don't pay my bills. They're not going to pay my bills. If all hell break loose, I can't fucking call their ass. So, yeah, I ain't worried about it. Okay, next one says, do you hate anyone? Dang, that's a little crucial. Um, uh, actually I have two more. I thought that was the last one. Um, do you hate anyone? No, I don't hate anyone at all. Now, if like we stopped, if we was cool and we stopped being cool, I don't hate you. I don't hate you at all. I just don't fuck with you, but I don't hate you. Like I hate is crazy. I feel like, um, everything happens for a reason and I'm the type of person like, I fuck with the people who fuck with me. Like, I don't force relationships. I don't force people to deal with me if they don't want to deal with me. Um, and that's family included. Um, if you do some shysty or some janky or some shit that I would never do to you, then I'm going to distance myself from you and I'm going to fall back and I'm not going to rock with you or treat you the same way. I, like, you're going to know. You're going to fucking know. But I don't hate you. I just, I can't really fuck with you like that, if that makes sense. Okay, next one says, um, wait, I think I read that one. Oh, that's it. I thought I, I thought I had two more. We done. All right, y'all. Well, that concludes our question and answer video. It was a little spicy. I thought it was going to be way spicier, but that's okay. I might do a part two. I appreciate you all for tuning in. If you are new here, make sure you like comment and subscribe if you have been tuned in make sure you like and comment share to any and everybody that you know i appreciate you all for tuning in um, i'm very grateful for this platform and i'm just excited to continue to grow and elevate within the youtube community thank you guys for tuning in and i am out